The statement by Huawei's CEO claiming that this new EUV lithography machine will destroy ASML marks a bold and provocative assertion in the global semiconductor industry. It signals Huawei's ambitious push to develop an indigenous EUV lithography machine capable of challenging the long-standing dominance of ASML, the Dutch company currently holding a monopoly in EUV technology. This script explores the background, technological innovation, industry implications, and the strategic significance of Huawei's declaration, aiming to contextualize this breakthrough within the broader landscape of semiconductor manufacturing and geopolitical competition. Extreme ultraviolet, EUV, lithography is the cutting-edge technology essential for producing the most advanced semiconductor chips at nodes smaller than 7 nanometers. It involves using short wavelength ultraviolet light, about 13.5 nanometers, to etch incredibly fine circuit patterns onto silicon wafers. Currently, only ASML, a Dutch corporation, possesses the technology and machinery to produce EUV lithography systems, giving it a near-monopolistic position in the high-end chip manufacturing market. This control represents a strategic advantage, as access to EUV determines the ability to manufacture next-generation processors used in AI, supercomputers, and advanced mobile devices. Huawei's recent announcement that it has developed a domestic EUV lithography machine utilizing laser-induced discharge plasma, LDP, technology, marks a potentially transformative shift in the semiconductor industry, web unlike traditional EUV machines that rely on laser-produced plasma, LPP. Huawei's LDP approach vaporizes tin electrodes with high voltage to generate plasma emitting the precise EUV radiation needed for chip fabrication. This innovation potentially reduces energy consumption while achieving the critical 13.5 nanometer wavelength necessary for advanced chip production, positioning Huawei as a formidable competitor. The company's announcement suggests that the machine is poised for mass production by 2026, a timeline that raises questions about the technological maturity and yield efficiency of Huawei's system compared to the well-established ASML machines. Web, F successful, the device could allow Huawei and Chinese chipmakers like SMIC to produce advanced chips independently, breaking the current technological embargo imposed by export restrictions. Huawei's declaration is not just a technological milestone, but a strategic move in the ongoing U.S.-China tech rivalry. Western sanctions have restricted China's access to advanced EUV lithography, limiting its ability to produce cutting-edge chips. China's pursuit of self-sufficiency, exemplified by Huawei's breakthrough, aims to circumvent these restrictions and close the technological gap. The ability to produce EUV machines domestically would diminish the reliance on ASML, challenging the Dutch company's dominance and potentially reshaping the global semiconductor supply chain. Industry experts and analysts are divided on the immediate impact. Some view Huawei's achievement as a demonstration of extraordinary innovation and an imminent threat to ASML's market leadership, capable of destabilizing the current monopoly. Others urge caution, noting that producing a fully operational, high-yield EUV system at scale remains a major technological challenge, and the industry has yet to see a commercial EUV machine from Huawei in practical deployment. Despite the excitement, Significant technical hurdles remain before Huawei's EUV lithography machine can rival ASML's mature systems. These include achieving the necessary resolution, throughput, reliability, and yield rates for mass production. The development of EUV technology involves mastering complex optics, defect control, and sophisticated source power. Historically, ASML has spent decades refining its machines, investing billions into R&D, which has established its technological leadership. Huawei's LDP technology, while promising, must demonstrate comparable performance at scale. This involves extensive testing, validation, and customer adoption, which could take years. Furthermore, the geopolitics of export controls and technological sanctions may influence Huawei's ability to commercialize and export its machine broadly. If Huawei successfully introduces a competitive EUV lithography machine, it would mark a major paradigm shift, ushering in a new era of technological independence for China and potentially disrupting the global semiconductor landscape. This would not only diminish ASML's market share, but could also intensify geopolitical tensions, affecting global supply chains. Conversely, 
If Huawei's machine faces delays or performance shortfalls, the current industry dynamic will persist until further breakthroughs or collaborations emerge. Nonetheless, Huawei's statement signals a vital push towards semiconductor self-reliance and technological sovereignty, aligning with China's broader strategic goals. Huawei's claim that its new EUV lithography machine will destroy ASML encapsulates a groundbreaking, historically unprecedented ambition in the semiconductor industry. Achieving this goal would require overcoming enormous technical and logistical challenges, but the potential implications, disrupting ASML's monopoly, advancing China's semiconductor industry, and shifting geopolitical power, are profound. The next 12 to 18 months will be critical in assessing whether Huawei's technological innovation can be translated into a viable, scalable alternative capable of reshaping the global chip manufacturing ecosystem. This script frames Huawei's announcement within a detailed technological, strategic, and geopolitical context, emphasizing the significance and the hurdles of such a breakthrough while maintaining an analytical perspective on its future impact. While Apple and Google have been playing catch-up with basic emergency satellite features, Huawei just dropped a bombshell, one that's about to change the smartphone game forever. This is the story of how Huawei's satellite technology actually works, why Apple and Google are scrambling to respond, and what this means for your next smartphone. Two words have haunted smartphone users for decades. No service. Deck zones, dropped calls, and disconnected lines. But Huawei just made those words obsolete. While Apple gives you limited emergency texting, Huawei now offers full satellite voice calls. While others talk about expanding coverage, Huawei is launching its own satellite constellation. This isn't an upgrade, it's a revolution. Stay tuned, because the no service era has just ended. In a world where every call, every connection, and every byte of data depends on invisible waves, one company has just broken the system that controls them. For years, Huawei was cut off, banned, sanctioned, and silenced by America's tech embargo. But now, it's back, and with something no one expected. A breakthrough that ends the no-service problem forever. A technology that could transform the global telecom industry itself. Apple and Google are watching closely, and they're not happy. It all began in 2019. The United States accused Huawei of being a national security threat. What followed was a full-scale tech blockade. Chip supplies were frozen. Google services were stripped away overnight. Huawei phones suddenly went dark. No updates, no access, and no signal in key markets. It was the ultimate punishment for a company that had dared to challenge the global tech order. But beneath the silence, Huawei didn't stop. While the world declared its death deep inside its research labs in Shenzhen, a quiet resistance began. The company regrouped, re-engineered, and reimagined what a smartphone and a network could be without Western technology. Now, Huawei says it has solved one of the greatest frustrations in mobile technology, the no-service problem. And it didn't do it with another cell tower or a SIM card. It did it from space. Huawei's engineers developed a hybrid satellite terrestrial communication system, a technology that connects devices directly to low-Earth orbit satellites. It means that even if you're lost in the desert, sailing across the ocean, or cut off during a disaster, your Huawei phone will still connect. Unlike Apple's limited emergency messaging system, Huawei's technology provides real-time two-way satellite calling. Using custom antennas and AI signal optimization, the device automatically switches between ground networks and satellites without interruption. Huawei has also partnered with China's Tiantong and Beidou satellite systems, giving its phones direct access to orbiting satellites that cover the entire globe. In simple terms, Huawei phones are no longer just connected to a telecom tower, they are connected to space itself. This gives users something Apple and Google can't yet match. Complete independence from network providers. No tower. No carrier. No dead zone.
This isn't just convenience. It's the birth of a new kind of internet. One that doesn't rely on Western controlled infrastructure. Huawei has built a network where no service simply doesn't exist anymore. While building its satellite tech, Huawei also built a completely independent software world. Harmony OS Today, in China alone, Harmony OS connects over 900